So the other day I was talking to my dad and um, he was informing me of some um, very well-known preachers that I, I respect and I've always uh, admired their, um, their piety, I guess you could say. Um, but uh, in their um, dedication to the word of God. Uh, but he was telling me that they don't believe in the gifts of the spirit. And I was just like, man, that's too bad. I mean, the, when I became a believer, the first thing I did when I read eagerly desire the greater gifts, I was like, Lord, I want to prophesy, like, give me the gift of prophecy. So even from that day on, and actually before, like God has, he, he speaks to me in dreams and I'm not anybody special. I'm nothing. I'm a worm, but God does speak to me. And so I just want to share you this, this dream with you. Um, so amongst many, but uh, this one, I remember asking God before I went to sleep, I said, Lord, how close do you want to be with a man? And so I fell asleep and I saw this hotel building and there were all of these people lined up, people that I know. And they were lined up as if they were coming to me with their problems or something like that. And I saw Jesus standing next to me and a person would step up and they tell me something. And I'd look at the Lord and he would say, oh, tell them this or something. I, I don't know exactly what he said, but it was like he was teaching me or giving me something that I should give to these people. And this line was vast. But and then the dream flipped and I was next to this like a church or a temple and there were vines growing off the ground is like there was mold um uh moss or something i don't know how to not mold but like moss like green moss i mean this place hadn't been touched in a long time and there was this throne there okay and there were these verses um, and I remember seeing there were some of them were Psalms and different things like that. And they were written on the throne, like as if it was weird. It was almost as if I could tell that that was my seat. But just let, hear me out before you judge what I'm saying. When I sat on that throne, there was this wood line. It was in front of me. It was really close. And, and, uh, and it started to recede and the moss started to recede and the vine started to disappear and as soon as I sat on that throne with these verses from the Psalms written on it, the wood line started to recede and I could see my enemies like they were in helicopters and I was pulling them down in the name of the Lord. I'm like, boom, grabbed another one in Jesus name, boom, and I throw them to the ground. But it was only when I sat in this seat that I could see them. So the dream was over. Uh that was years ago, but um, recently, I believe that I received a key from God. And I'll tell you, I'm glad to tell you, uh, years ago, I picked up the guitar. You know, for so many years, I tried to, um, I was like, I can't do it. I tried, and i like, I can't do it. And one day, I'm just like, okay, fine. I'll just keep trying. And I learned how to play the guitar. And, um, but what it did was it helped me to, be able to praise him. I mean, praise, it's a key to heaven. It That's why Paul says, rejoice always. And uh, it, it just immediately connects you to God. I think the word says that God inhabits the praises of his people and that he's, his will for your life is that you're thankful. So when you're praising God, and you're praising him with songs that you mean, that come from the heart, that mean something to you. Just like David, he would praise the Lord. I mean, seven times a day, like, I mean, praise him. And I believe that's why God showed me those verses on the side of that throne, because I'm made to praise him. And I surely, I'm telling you, I don't care who you are. If you're a believer, just try it. Praise him when you wake up. Praise him when you feel down. Praise him. See what happens. I guarantee you, God will inhabit his, his temple immediately. I mean, you're, it's like when you look at him and you're just like, I love you because you're reminded 
through the songs and through the Psalms that you might be reading, you're reminded of how much God has done for you. And it helps you to be thankful. It becomes a weapon. And I'm telling you, you if you, you got, I don't care if you can sing or not, learn to praise him. It'll help you to be thankful and God will bless you and you'll be happier. You'll have more joy. And that's what you need. You need joy, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, take this key, take this weapon and use it. Praise the name of the Lord. All right.